Hey guys, I know I know I haven't vlogged in like IDK how I think since Saturday night. I haven't vlogged. So right now I'm taking a little surprise to my friend Karina to make her day. So I got her a little card. It's just a blank card and I wrote in it. And then I got her these little flowers. So I need to figure out how to put the card in these flowers. Just stick it like that. And I'm gonna take these to her. I gotta get I got I gotta get a jacket on. I don't think it's cold enough to have to put Bryson in a jacket. <sighs> yeah, it is. Bryson, you gotta get a jacket on. Alright. Jacket on. Just gotta get the boys in the car. Come on, King, you have on a jacket. Let me go put Y'all look, God is good. God is so good. Anyways, it's nice to not have to rush around or get up at 5 a.m. to keep a car. But, yeah, I have to put all this stuff in the truck. Keep Bryce in the truck. You can smell the sunscreen on my face from the foundation I am trying out today and I don't like it. fits perfectly all right y'all about to get loaded up and then i'll see you on a minute so sweet i could tell she's having a rough day because she didn't have her makeup on like she don't know that i know when she's having a rough day she didn't have brows on she didn't have lashes on she's having a rough day so i'm glad that i did that careful you guys with how you lift up your sisters in christ because i i, I wanted a while out right now but i gotta remember we're in christ now all right gotta go guys i'm driving all right, you guys, we're about to head to the gym. Yay! I gotta go get the key card from Brian. He's at the barber shop. And then I'm gonna leave him his gym clothes. That way he can meet us there. Cause I'm not sure how long his haircut will take. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head over there and I'll see y'all when we get to the gym for a good workout. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's gym time. We just got here. So we won't be leaving here until eight o'clock. May have to pick up some food, but that's okay, y'all. We, we, we can adjust. Um, one of my Bible study group leaders was like, believe the word for 2020 is flexible. Because you have to be very flexible this year to make all the adjustments that are required. So yeah, time to get this workout in. Hey guys, so for today's workout, we are actually doing another full body. Brian and I have been loving these because all of the research that we have done has said that you really need to work out every muscle group two to three times a week. So on this day, we started out with legs and right now we are just on the calf raise machine and so it just goes on your shoulders and then it puts this extra weight on you and you just do a calf raise. Okay, so this was actually one of the rare days that Brian and I didn't do all of the exact same workouts. So he prefers squats. I did deadlifts because I really want to work on my butt area, like my backside area of my legs, a little bit more than the front and like my inner thighs. So I went ahead and did staggered um, deadlifts. And the reason I did them staggered instead of lifting one leg or having the weight distributed equally on each leg was because if you stagger the legs, it really, really helps you to build that muscle up and gain strength. Okay, and believe it or not, this is actually the second time that I did this workout, but I love this standing ab machine. I just do raise my legs to the front and then twist and do the sides. 
Okay, and then from there, I went into my leg extensions. I guess that's what you could call them. I put a 25 pound plate weight on there because for whatever reason, I guess because this one doesn't have the cables and the extra assistance, that 25 pounds felt like what I would do on one of the machines that already has the weights on there for you, if that makes sense. Okay, you guys, so after we were actually done with legs, we moved into chest, and the first thing we actually went into was chest flies, and then we did bench press with dumbbells, so a dumbbell bench press. And we actually do two to three sets of every single workout, and if we feel like we have enough energy to do another set of whatever workout it is, then we do go ahead and do like four, but those are the workouts that we did for chest, were chest flies and a dumbbell press. Okay, so once we were actually done, or once I was done with the chest workouts, I did go ahead and just utilize the bench to do my leg raises. These are so much more effective to me than just doing them flat on the floor. For another ab workout, I did go ahead and use a bozu ball and I was doing my Russian twist. Now this requires a lot of core strength and balance. So if you want the most effective Russian twist, I motivate you to try that out. And then we did go ahead and go into our arms. And so here we are going to go ahead and just do a preacher, a preacher curl with the easy bar. And here I have on 15 pounds on each side on top of whatever the bar weighs, which is about 15 pounds. So I was really cur curling about, excuse me, curling about 45 pounds. Okay, so continuing on with arms, we did go ahead and do caber curls with the just a regular bar and yeah, we did three sets of that as well for our biceps. So next, moving on to triceps, we did go ahead and do three sets of tricep pull downs. You guys, these work best if you are flexing your tricep once you reach your about your hip area. Flex that tricep and you will feel the ultimate burn. So continuing on with the triceps, we, triceps, we did do overhead cable extensions. And same things with these, you guys. Once you extend your arm, flex that tricep muscle. Anytime you activate your muscle and like flex it the entire time, like you're actually activating that muscle to follow through with the movement, you are going to get the ultimate results, the ultimate burn that you were looking for, just with everything. Even within the deadlifts, don't flex and clench your butt once you're up, but flex that muscle from the time you are like, from the time you pick up whatever you're lifting for deadlifts, flex that muscle. Y'all, I promise you, if there was a, an award for YouTube for, 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 for getting to press record, I would win that reward because award, reward, it's all the same thing. 
I would win it though because I done recorded there was two workouts at the gym that I did that I didn't press record and then I did my mile run didn't press record y'all and then I did my little end cap of the gym and didn't press record so this is end cap take two anyways Brian's on his way to help one of our friends he made me drive the car well he made me drive the SUV home while he gets to take the truck but I mean that's okay because I had the truck all day today and all day yesterday so I'll let him get it I told him I was trying to let I was trying to drive the truck as much as I could because I know whenever he gets his rims put on there and they, he gets the windows tinted, like I ain't ever gonna be able to drive that truck again. Like I just already know. But to be honest, I miss Big Black. That's what we call our SUV, we call her Big Black. And then the truck's name is Big Red. That's the truck's name is Big Red. I think they're cute names. But yeah, I'm headed to get food right now because we ended up work getting to the gym way too late and we got there at 6.10 the daycare upstairs closes at 8 and we were trying to get in a full body workout which I'm surprised that we did like we got everything in except for back and shoulders so we'll probably do back and shoulders tomorrow and yeah so y'all y'all asked in my Q&A like how often do we eat out well we're eating out tonight but I'm probably going to try to cook the rest of the week because I was going to make tacos tonight but it's just too late to cook by the time we cooked it would be like nine o'clock and i'm not trying to eat at nine o'clock because the last time we ate late i was in so much pain but i mean y'all know what i might actually just go home and cook because brian is going to go help a friend so that's enough time for me to whip up some tacos and real fast so i think that's what i'm gonna do y'all i'm gonna go home and whip up some tacos make some refried beans and whatnot the only thing that sucks is that i don't have any vegan shredded cheese for the tacos so i may just have to eat my tacos without cheese because i want to use sour cream and my stomach's already messed up so i'm gonna have to take two scoops of marillax tonight i've been taking a scoop every night since sunday night and your girl's stomach just ain't doing right but yeah i'm actually gonna go home and eat taco make tacos i was gonna pick up something to eat but since brian has to go help our friends he's actually my cousin well like second cousin but my cousin nonetheless since he's gonna go help him and his wife move some couches i'm gonna go home and go ahead and cook so i'm gonna let brian know so i can just prepare his taste buds for tacos instead of chicken so yeah you guys that's it i'm gonna call it a night here and i'll see you guys in the morning good morning you guys i'm so sorry i have been mia this week it's just been it's just been one of them weeks y'all where it's just like it's kind of a blur everything just kind of flies by but there's also so much to do so right now i am actually finishing uploading today's video so it is my elf video if you haven't seen it go check it out i'm actually so proud about how so proud of uh, of how this excuse me I am so proud of how this video turned out, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, but yesterday's been a crazy week. We went to the gym last night again. And, y'all, I'm so sore. I hurt my hand doing something. I don't know what. So, I'm going to have to find something to put on my hand because it hurts really bad. Like, the muscles in my hand, like, from between my thumb and my index finger, like, that little part right there all the way like to the center of my palm up to my wrist it hurts so i'm thinking maybe i just lifted something wrong or lifted something too heavy um but yeah all I, i've already done my first part of what i need to do today which is edit and upload um so since i did have today's video up i'm gonna start working on tomorrow's vlog um i have an appointment at one o'clock i want to do my makeup today just to i don't know, feel pretty and then yeah i think that's all that we have to do I'm going to call and see if they put my food stamps on my card yet because I want to make something good for dinner. <laughs> Not that we don't have good food, but I need more chicken for what I want to make. And if I'm going to get food stamps, I'd rather not use cash. So there's that. And then as well as I need to go to Target and buy some of the goalie vitamins. Actually, I can do that for pickup. 
I might do that for pickup uh, for Brian. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have planned for today, you guys. Oh, and I have a doctor's appointment at 1.15 just to get my birth control checked on because I've been having some really bad lower back pain, which is a side effect of it. And just a few other things that are side effects. And I just want to make sure it's all good. I mean, nothing wrong in it. And it ain't doing nothing that it's supposed to be doing. And you guys, my body is finally getting back to normal. Like I can finally go to the bathroom the way I'm supposed to. I finally took my first good number two this morning and I was like oh, such a relief like I've been bloated and constipated and in pain pretty much since Saturday so <laughs> yeah we are going to go ahead and get just some more editing done and whatnot wow. say hey sissy hey. so if y'all ever wonder why I be forgetting to vlog that's why because we'd be on on it on FaceTime all day long i'm not exaggerating when i say all day long till about the time we get our significant others well our husbands got to be careful with that word by the time we get our husbands but anyways you guys i got my video uploaded i actually got all of tomorrow's vlog edited so right now i'm just having lunch and it's just leftovers from taco tuesday night so rice some charro beans and some taco meat and I'm just eating it like nachos. Like I was watching my rudely interrupted me. I was saying I'm eating these as I'm eating this as nachos. And I realized editing to, to tomorrow's vlog that I ate nachos like exactly like this last week. Only I added sour cream and jalapenos. And I'm not adding sour cream today because I'm not trying to send my stomach back there. But I have my BCAAs because your girl is sore. Um, I like to drink this brand throughout the day, and then I like to drink my ghost ones, because those are aminos, after I work out, so yeah. Anyways, y'all, I was an idiot, and I had scheduled today's video for tomorrow at 11 instead of for today at 11, so I had to fix that. But we're all good now, so yeah, I really want to do my makeup still. Tomorrow's vlog is saving, and now I'm about to get back to chatting with my sister. Just thought I'd update you guys, so I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so we ended up coming to the gym. Like I said before, sorry I've been MIA this week. It's like one thing after another. So after I went to the doctor, I went to go pick up Ethan, went home, had to go pick up my medicine, and then we came to the gym. So yeah, I'm wearing the LCC cream foundation yeah, again. I'm not. <laughs> and um, I applied it at like six at 12. Yeah, I applied it at 12.30, it's now 6.44. And I use different primers and a different setting spray, something a little bit more moisturizing for my skin type. And let me look in this mirror real quick, see how I look. Ugh. Yeah, I like it a lot more with the different primers and the different setting spray that I use. Um, so yeah, I guess this foundation definitely depends on primers and setting sprays in the process but one thing i will say is that powders don't blend that great on top of it if you don't set your face because i tried to put my bronzer on without powdering it and i had to go in with the with like with the setting powder to blend it out so yeah anyways we're about to go home i don't know if i'm gonna cook or if we're gonna pick up food see what brian's feeling because if i do cook i'm gonna make my version of chicken and rice so yeah we're about to go get the boys and then we're gonna head home Ugh. all right you guys we are back home been back home since like 7 30. we ate dinner i cleaned up practiced and lunch now i'm about to shower and call it a night because your girl is sleepy Whew. let me put these down this right one is gonna hurt because was, I was on the struggle bus with this right eyelash today. Mm. 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 Oh, just put out all my eyelashes I just grew <sighs> all right y'all but yeah good night you guys I will see y'all tomorrow good morning you guys it is a tiny bit cloudy today so I had to turn 
my light on. So today the plan is to go get a few groceries and um, I need to vacuum our room, the boys room and the guest room. And that's about it. Like that's all I have planned for today. But since I have so little planned, oh, today's Friday, gym and work later on in the day. But you know, up until I have to get Ethan, the only plans are vacuum the house, I'm about to sit down and do my read and write the word. And yeah, I already have today's video edited and uploaded, so not much to do there, but uh, yeah, back, excuse me, vacuum, go pick up a few groceries. I'm going to go ahead and fill up the truck since both Brian and I will be doing deliveries tonight. So yeah, that is what is on the plan for tonight. So yeah, I'll see you guys. I'm going to let you guys watch. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about this real quick. Um, turn the computer on. I don't have to use my phone to watch videos or listen to anything. So this is what I'm having for breakfast today. Um, this is what I've been having for breakfast all week. It's because Brian's yogurts were starting to go bad. So I was like, let me go ahead and help him finish them. But I did have to go buy me some granola because I love granola and yogurt. And so, but the, anyways, he's so delicious, dairy-free, co dairy free coconut yogurt, coconut milk yogurt. Oh, oh my Lanta. Coconut milk yogurt alternative. These yogurts are so, so good. Like you can't even tell a difference in the way that they taste aside from like what regular yogurt tastes like. I don't know, maybe it's been that long since I've had regular yogurt, but to me it tastes like regular yogurt. So that's really good and it doesn't hurt my stomach. Y'all ate a lot of cheese last night. I need to quit, but anyways, my poop shoot is fine. Even though I ate that cheese last night, I woke up a little bit gassy, but the girl got it all out. So, yeah, everything is fine, but we ate Taco Villa last night, which is actually where my mom's the general manager of, but we didn't go to hers. We went to a different one, and it was so good. But um, it was funny because last night when we went, we actually had to pay for it because, like I said, since my mom's the general manager, anytime we want Taco Villa, we'll just go and, like, she gives it to us for free. And so we went last night. Brian was like, do you guys do military discount? And they're like, yeah. Brian was like, I had no idea they did military discount. I was like, it's because every time we eat there, we eat for free. <laughs> so, yeah, he learned something new every day. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my read and write the word, eat my breakfast, and then I got a couple other knickknacks I got to do uh before i start vacuuming the house but yeah i, was, I guess you guys will watch me do my read and write the word
All right, y'all. I'm about to do my makeup and make a few phone calls. All right, y'all. So I had to switch cars with Brian, but I did end up do I ended up doing my makeup, but I did not vacuum the house. And now we are headed to meet up with Karina for lunch. I put gas in the truck, and now after I'm done eating lunch, I need to get this car washed and cleaned out and put gas in this car. So I'm annoyed today. But anyways, yeah gonna go ahead and put a uh, meet up with Karina actually pulling up to the restaurant right now so we are gonna go ahead and go in here and eat for lunch today see y'all once we get our food and order and stuff. Got some nachos Karina ate her food quick fast and in a hurry got the boys the girls So after lunch, I went to go pick up a Target order and then I would take Brian his gym clothes. And then I had to go, I thought my days of running around all over town are over, but then I had to take Brian um, his gym clothes and then I had to go pick up Ethan and now we just got home. So I have all the boys laying down taking a nap. I'm about to take a nap because I have to start working at six. So, yeah, we are gonna head all back. We're all gonna head back out at six and start working. So yeah, I don't want to end the vlog yet because I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow or not. But um, yeah, I'm sorry this vlog has been so boring and so splotchy. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. You won't see me again today because, like I said, I'm. We're gonna take a nap, or I'm. I don't know if I'm gonna fall asleep. But I don't know for sure I'm going to lay down and rest. And we'll see you guys later. So, yeah, I love you guys. Hey guys, so I am actually working right now. I know I haven't vlogged all day. Doing Uber Eats. And they're so crazy. I had a delivery right by mine and Brian's first place together. This is why I started YouTube. Oh my gosh, and we're Brian and I. It was our first place we ever had together. So crazy. We done came a long way, y'all, because... This little neighborhood right here, it's a little bit rough. It's not a lot of bit rough, but it's a little bit rough. I feel like the place we lived at after this one was real rough. But yeah, that's where I started YouTube. That's where, that was, that was Brian and I's first place. I didn't even vlog whenever I was in that, um, whenever we were in that house. So yeah, that's how long ago it was. Woo, four, going on four years ago that we lived there. How stinking crazy. Alright, I just had, I just had to reminisce and show you guys and well, God is good. God is good. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get back to work, y'all. I currently do not have an order. That's what Uber Eats looks like, if y'all were ever wondering. I'll try to pull out my camera fast enough if I receive another order to show you guys like how you accept them and like what the process is and things like that. But yeah. Just out here trying to get these coins. So yeah, see you guys. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, this phone is, this camera's about to dial me any second. I'll put on the charger when I get back to the car, but I just got an order for this place called Italian Garden. So I, I, I missed the pickup little pop-up thing, but so whenever you get an order, it just looks like this. It tells you that. And then like when you press here, you can check everything that they got. Yeah, and so that's all you do. I'll leave a link in the description box if y'all want to sign up for where y'all live. Okay, I'm just here to pick up the order. Yes, I got my mask on. I'll get you checked out right quick. It was a kid's lasagna, kid's spaghetti, chicken murphy, extra salad, small pepperoni, two cheesecakes, right? <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I just had an Uber Eats pickup for Stacy. For Stacy? Yes. Is that it right there? <laughs> you got Teresa? Yeah, Oh, Rita, you got it. All right, what are you doing? Yes, uh, I need an Uber for Stacy. Stacy. Please, and thank you. 
All right, you guys. So we got the food. So after we get the food, we just check the person, check mark the person's name, and then slide to deliver. And then it tells you where to go. You actually, get to where you're going to drop off. You just leave it on the porch, and then you click take a photo, and then you just mark it deliver. And that is all that you have to do.